What is Gucci, my Brandflex viewers? Thank you guys for tuning in to another video on this channel. And this video is going to be what I picked up from a clearance store on the way to Portland, and then also what I picked up from the employee store. Um, so that was super fun. The employee store was really fun. If you guys want to check out the vlog, that will be linked down below to the employee store vlog and then the Portland vlog as well. Um, what we did in Portland, how we got to Portland, all that good stuff. So link down below to the vlog channel. Go ahead and check out the last two vlogs, which were in Seattle and Portland. But for now, on this channel, I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up from the employee store and then also the clearance store as well. I literally had to get a separate duffel bag to bring back to Vegas um, because... I knew I was gonna buy a lot because it was 50% off and then also uh, the clearance store was like triple dip the discount because you guys know where I work. But let's just hop into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so like I said, I had to get another duffel bag in order to ship back to Vegas to show you guys what I got and then also get my stuff. So I'm gonna open this duffel bag right now. I honestly don't know how I want to go about this video just because um, all the stuff that I did buy is mostly out of season. Like I got pants, I got like three jackets, I have some shoes as well. So um, I don't know if I want to show you guys how they look like on my body, but I know a couple of these items are available online. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys off the bat. I did pick up two Nike windbreakers or a coach jacket or whatever you guys want to say. I don't even know what kind of jackets these are. but. These are the Nike jackets that I picked up, or one of them. It's the big swoosh jacket. It look, gives me like a little vintage vibe. I like this, it's like a throwback jacket. It is like waterproof. And then it also does come with a hood. I guess I might as well show you guys what it looks like on my body, so I'll film that later. But yeah, here you go. Nike swoosh, big on the front, nice and big. And then on the back you have the swoosh as well. So black and white. This one retailed at 120, so it was 50% uh, off that. And then also I got the Mavericks colorway on that one, or the old school Mavericks colorway. I got the blue and green with the white swoosh. Super nice, I really like how these look on me. And so I had to go ahead and cop two. Um, I didn't know what color to get because I tried on this one and I was like, dude, I like this color. And then the black and white one is just black and white, so I had to get both. I kind of regret getting both, but it was 50% off and I don't really go out to Portland a lot, so. Shout out to the employee store. Those two were from the employee store. And then, um, yeah, moving on to the third jacket. So the third jacket I picked up is a Nike SB um, sample jacket. I don't think this is available online anymore, but I've been looking for a furry jacket like this for a minute now. So here you go, I got this Nike SB furry jacket, super cozy. And I know it was a sample just because um, the lady told me Anything with this I, this information tag, it means it's a sample. So uh, the clearance store did have a couple samples out there and I believe I paid like 20 or $15 for this. So there's that nice little furry Nike SB jacket. And then it also has Nike SB little patch right here. I don't think this one is available online, but I know the other two are. Not too sure, I don't want, don't quote me on that, but yeah, so. There you go, furry jacket from Nike SB, and then this one was like 15 bucks, so that was a steal. The other two were like 60, um, kind of pricey, but you know, whatever. Uh, it was half off, so 120 to 60, I saved money, no worries, guys. Um, and if you guys did have me on Snap, you guys know how much we paid. Um, well, Roy and I combined, so yeah. All right, you guys, so moving right along, I still have a couple of items in this bag, no worries. I'm almost running out of items to show you guys. So that was like the three major jackets that I did pick up. Um, so I picked up we went to a Portland game if you guys want to watch that vlog again links down below And I just wanted to be about the Portland culture So I went ahead and copped the Dame Dalla Damian Lillard number zero Portland Trailblazers regular jersey I believe this one was 50 bucks or 60 um, after the discount I am gonna hoop in this for my Friday night team because um, we wear black so Portland number zero shout out to Dame Dalla even though they lost game one in the playoffs and uh, CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard did not show up but Rondo and uh, Anthony Davis did show up so shout out to them but yeah so Portland Blazers jersey Trail Blazers I don't know what the hell I just spilled water all over myself so apologies but I did pick up two pairs of pants what was that like I picked up two pairs of pants and one of them is this Nike SB cargo pant and I'm super excited about these actually um, because I did really like how they fit on me and I do want the khaki pair now now that I did see them at the Nike store but for now the camo pant will do. 
Um, so all I did really did was pick or tie these really tight to where they were tapered and then um, you know tied them, double knotted them so they stayed. But this is the Nike SB cargo pant and here's an outfit I had on at Universal Studios. Let me know how you guys feel about it, rate my fit 1 to 10, leave a comment down below. But I actually really liked my outfit that day and I really liked how they fit on me. Um, so shout out to Nike SB for making some cool pants. But here you go, uh, established in 2001, Nike SB patch right there. And then sizing on these, I did go a size down. So usually I go a 32 in my pants and I went a size 30 in these. Um, so I'm glad I tried these on, but they are both a medium size. So I went a size 30 in these. Uh, 32 was a little too big on the leg. So I went ahead and you know tried on the 30 and they did fit in the waist. Um, so yeah, there you go. These do fit big. Just a sizing preference for you guys. Nike SB pant. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And then the second pant I did pick up is this uh, Tech Fleece pant. I don't know what team this is, so if you guys want to look up the logo, um, here's the logo right here. I believe this is an overseas team. Last time Roy and I looked into it, but I just really liked how this color was um, in the Tech Fleece pant. I do like Tech Fleece pants a lot, and I really like this darker gray. So I went ahead and copped it in a size medium. And these ones were marked down for $50, but I believe I got like 20 and then 30 on top of that as well. So, you know, got these for like $35, $40, I believe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so yellow swoosh, and then you have their logo for whatever team this is, is what this is, is, is. But yeah, so there you go. Tech Fleece pants, nothing really special to them other than I really like how this color is not really, uh, you know, made in Tech Fleece pants, like the ones you can buy in store. Um, it's just kind of random for the team, but you know, yeah. All right, you guys, so for the one sneaker that I did pick up all weekend that weekend, all weekend that weekend, for the one sneaker that I did pick up that weekend um, was the Speared On in this random colorway. I don't think this is available online, but if it is, I'll try and find it for you guys or just link random Speared Ons. I actually really like how these look like on my feet, um, but here you go, just a random white and blue, navy blue Speared On. I think I paid like $35 to $40 for these, and they are 3M. Um, so I went ahead and copped it just because I wanted to walk out with at least one pair of shoes. I didn't get this at the employee store. I got this at the clearance store, so it was just cheaper. And uh, yeah, so Zoom Air, Speared On, super nice, super sick. Nice little summer shoe, throw on the you know tube socks or the no-show socks. But yeah, so Speared On, super nice little retro runner. Uh, yeah, nothing really special to them, but I just wanted to pick them up. Yeah. All right, you guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit that thumbs up button for me. It goes a long way. Let me know how you guys feel about what I picked up. I wish I picked up more, but you know, um, certain things I really didn't need, and I feel like I needed more jackets for next winter, so I did go ahead and cop a ton of jackets and you know, just some essential pieces that I needed. I didn't wanna go ham on buying random shoes that I wasn't gonna wear because April dropped so much stuff and I'm currently like broke right now because of all the shoes that did drop this month. So stay tuned for a sneaker pickup video because I believe I picked up three solid good, yeah. I picked up three solid good shoes and I'm super excited to wear them all for the summer. So stay tuned for that video. You guys might see some in the back, just a quick preview. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit the thumbs up button for me. Hit up all the links down below. If you guys wanna see the Portland vlogs, that will be linked down below as well. And uh, yeah.